Welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for no contact or long distance. Let's call in spirit. Let's see what I'm to I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's still a little bit hot and sweaty here in Minneapolis, but getting a little bit nicer outside. So hopefully I can get outside after this. We are going to start with the Tattoo Tarot. And we'll get some insights for you on this no contact situation. So the first card we have is the Page of Wands. This could be good news coming in. Could be somebody kind of making an assessment on a situation. It's coming out with the King of Pentacles. So we've either got an, uh, a masculine energy who is looking for a long distance relationship or just known as very reliable or responsible, loyal, or the news is coming in, like he's either bringing in the news or he has news coming in. I feel like he's the one bringing the news. Because then we have the Ace of Wands in New Beginning and it's being handed to a feminine. So it could be we have a masculine who's traveling to or wanting to find a way to communicate with a feminine energy he hasn't spoken with in a while and it's going to be good news. We have judgment coming out. Somebody's made an important decision. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> you guys, this is kind of crazy. Somebody is making a final call on a situation that has felt like it's lacked justice or fairness and has not brought this person happiness. So it feels to me like somebody was trying to ignore how they felt in a situation or avoid being in a relationship. But with the hidden energy of Four of Wands, this person wants redemption and wants potentially a serious relationship. Four of Wands can be about marriage. What else do we have for our no contact friends, please? We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is, I think, done moving slowly. Somebody is ready to put in the work. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming at, and this is clearly somebody who is focused on a task and making some progress on it, right? You can see all the pentacles up on the wall that she's already finished making. So this king of pentacles has a plan. This king of pentacles has taken some time to think about the situation. He may have had some solitude or just like maybe took like a little, little vacation, had a little bit of healing. And I feel like it's cleared his head and helped him realize that what has been causing some unhappiness or regret, maybe even sleepless nights, is a lack of decision. If he was able to make a decision on a situation that he's been trying to avoid, he would also then be able to sleep better. I agree with that. <laughs> All right, to clarify justice in the reverse, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody was trying to let go of a situation. I feel like this is somebody who was doing their best to avoid a relationship. They didn't want to feel the feels. They maybe didn't know how to approach the situation. This could be somebody who has had a history of unhealthy relationships or maybe even grew up in a relationship or sorry, in a home where the Parents really weren't um, known for communicating well. This could just be somebody who doesn't know how to approach a healthy relationship, trying to figure out what to do in this situation because they do have feelings, but they don't know how it's done, you know? What else do we have for no contact, please? We have the page of rings in the reverse.
someone doesn't want to start over. Hmm. So this could be like unfinished business for somebody here. Like you guys maybe went on a couple of dates and then something happened, like somebody moved away and then you weren't able to actually explore the feelings that you had. We have the Two of Wands clarifying the Four of Swords. So I feel like during this period of healing or introspection, most likely the masculine energy realized that he had taken the wrong path. He'd made the wrong choice. He thought he was choosing independence and happiness, but he ended up finding that it was actually quite painful to be away from this person. We have the Knight of Cups coming out to clarify the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So now this person is contemplating making a love offer. <laughs> I feel like they're like uncomfortable. Like this was never something that I was going to want and now it's something that I want. And we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse confirming of course that this is a no contact situation. This person likely ghosted you because they didn't know how to communicate their feelings or they didn't know how to pretend they didn't have feelings. And we have the Queen of Swords. So you may have, if you're the feminine in this situation, you may have enacted some boundaries or said, you know, this isn't working out for me because maybe they got a little bit weird. They weren't communicating the way that they used to. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like there was some divine timing situation here where someone had maybe another lesson or two to learn, perhaps even both individuals. One may have had to learn more about self-worth while the other one had to learn about what's really important in life. We have the Seven of Wands coming out to confirm what I just said, right? With timing being an issue, there needed to be some additional lessons. And then we have the Ten of Cups. And then when the right timing comes around, I feel like that's when the magic really starts to happen, where somebody can let down their guard and then, you know, have like a, a real conversation about feelings. When we have the Knight of Swords, we may have somebody acting a little bit reckless here, but what I see is somebody who wants to come in with the truth. They don't want to wait anymore. And I keep looking at the fact that there's a circle around the sword, even though we're talking about swords and not coins, which is what it is in this deck, um, it's making me feel like we're talking about the King of Pentacles here, right? It's somebody who wants to come in with the truth and offer something long term. We have the Three of Cups clarifying the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like it was an external party or a third party that made this person stop talking to you. This could have been a previous relationship, a competitor, like somebody who is also interested in this person romantically, or a family member or a friend who is maybe jealous of the time that you were spending or the connection that you had with this person. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, but they found out that listening to their friends really just made them miserable. They saw their wish fulfillment growing, well, like going, <laughs> like leaving, vacating the building and realized that they had to change course, right? So we'll get just a couple of angel, romance angel oracles here and see what they have to say. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it's kind of harkening back to that Four of Swords card, right? Introspection, solitude, a little bit of time to breathe. And then we've got express your feelings reconciliation and calling in your soulmate. So after this period of time where, you know, we can both kind of look at our wounds or think about what it is that we really want, then all of a sudden you'll have this rush of communication and a desire to reconcile. Somebody's going to finally make that romantic gesture. So yippee, right? It looks like just a little bit of absence does in fact make the heart grow fonder and somebody wants to tell you all about it. So. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading and I hope you also have a great rest of your time. Thank you.